evacuated simultaneously today as bomb threats were called in all over Cincinnati. I was at work. I just got the text that said that there was a bomb threat. The threats coordinated made at the same exact time at a handful of schools. I'm shaking. <laughs> yeah, I've never driven so fast in my life. Tonight, the rush of family members to make sure their children were safe and the investigation into who's behind these threats. Good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palello. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mike Dardis. The start of the school day, a scary one for thousands of students and parents. WLWT News 5 confirming bomb threats in four school districts. And this comes less than two weeks after a similar incident at schools across the state. For grade schoolers, something like this can obviously be traumatic. WLWT News 5's John London live tonight in Oak Hills, where the school day was interrupted shortly before 10 this morning. John. Yeah, and uh, you know, Mike, residential Virginia court behind me here is an idyllic kind of entry street to K through five at Oakdale Elementary around the corner. Uh, and uh, mid morning, about seven hours ago, the reassuring routine here shifted dramatically. If whoever phoned in a bomb threat to Oakdale Elementary this morning is watching this right now, here's the tears you caused, the racing heartbeats of Heather Saylor and her daughter Lauren. The fear fueled rush to cross town, knowing your grade school kid needs the reassurance of family. But luckily, her Girl Scout leader was here, calmed her down. I talked to her, she was freaking out. The bomb threat call came in five minutes to 10. Seconds later, the evacuation of 700 grade schoolers was underway. Bridgetown Road started to clog with cars and concern. Sidewalks, suddenly fast lanes for pedestrians and parents, like the mother of young Brady here. How old are you? Six. Who drove here from her job in Milford? I'm shaking. <laughs> yeah, I've never driven so fast in my life, so it's definitely scary. And yeah, I've never been through anything like this. Christ Hospital's medical building near the school turned their parking lot into a parental pickup point, space that turned into an open air relief station. This is my granddaughter, Kyra. And yeah, and she's in fifth grade at Oakdale. So. so the reuniting hugs and kisses were instinctively magnified this noon hour. It's pretty, it's pretty scary, especially with my granddaughter. You know, because uh, with my kids, I didn't have to go through this too much. It just seems like nowadays, you know, you never know. The Oak Hills superintendent expressed pride in his teachers and staff. All students safe, accounted for. I mean, you've been a witness to it here. It was fair. It was very orderly. Uh, uh, teachers stayed with their students. No bomb was found. Only fear was detonated, caller, if you're watching. I bet it was great to see your mom, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and once the all clear was given, class res classes resumed, school buses made their usual route. Some families from Oakdale decided to keep their kids home for the rest of the day. Boarding live in the Oak Hill School District, John London, WWT News 5. All right, John.